Hello, welcome back to the workshop here at North Creations. My name is Isaac Odegaard, and I help you learn to be more creative from my lessons in leathersmithing by giving you the best tips, tools, and practices. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, hit the like button. I make YouTube videos making custom leather products. Today's episode will be the last installment of the all leather black and burgundy tote bag here. You can go down to the description and check out the previous episodes on this project. See how I thought of the design and now I'm executing it. So, all right, let's get into today's content. Thanks for joining. First step, I'm gonna measure the width of my flange. Sandpaper, scritch up the edge for extra sticktivity. Yes, that's a technical term in the leather industry. Okay, set that aside. Bring this puppy over. Okay, that'll just soften the leather up a little bit so that I can just form it a little bit more as I install the leather. Oh, happened already. All right, that piece glued, set it aside. Fun fact. When you're doing, when you're making bags, especially larger pieces like this, and you have leather that's soft and can take on, take on stuff from the environment easy, like oils from your fingers, leftover dye on the table, leftover glue on the table can go on here and wreck your finish of your leather. So one thing that's nice about this shop is we've got this piece of plastic that's been down on this table for probably 35 years. And it, as you can see, has thousands of layers of glue and oil and all kinds of stuff mixed into it that actually makes a really good surface that protects soft leather like this from getting scratched and all that kind of stuff. So one day we will replace this plastic, which will be a sad day. Alright, the glue has evaporated sufficiently. I went ahead and marked the center for where the one seam stitch line needs to go. This one here. You can see down in there I've got my mark lined up. So I'm going to do the front edge first. I'm going to go to the back edge. And I'm pushing down on the bottom plate so that it's all flat with the table. Hopefully the table's flat. And then I'm going to stick it lightly so I can make any adjustments before I tack it down fully. Okay. So I've got one hand inside the bag helping me guide the bottom plate as I stick it. As I stick the bottom plate flange to the outside belt. That way I can guide it in and out. Awesome. With a bag like this, uh, I want to have a little bit of extra space around the machine while I stitch it. So I'm going to pull this heavy bastard out a wee bit. Carefully. Oh, that thing's heavy. Oh, 
All right, so I'm going to set this aside for now. And I'm going to grab the second one inch strap that I cut off the long hide there. And I'm going to get cutting. But first, I'm going to turn these spooky lights off or on. There we go. Awesome. Okay. This goes too far. Shoot him oh. home. Crack a jack. Take off now. Don't look back, but hey. Then we'll do a quick edge rub and die montage. Speed it up. You've seen me do that before. If you haven't seen me do it before, all I do is I take this gum tragacanth soapy material. It's kind of like soap. Take a piece of sheepskin here, soak it in there, get it wet. Get the whole strap. When you're doing a strap like this, get the whole thing wet with the gum. Get the whole thing, the sides mainly, get the sides. Get it all wet. Not soaking wet, but just damp. And uh, then we'll just zip through it here. It's looking pretty good. A bit of a shine on there. Burnishes it nice and smooth. I'm only gonna dye one edge for now. Cause I'm gonna have to refinish the top edge. I'm gonna have to refinish that later. So I'm just gonna dye the one side and the end, the tip. want to keep the dye bottle away from this. Keep it away from that. It's over there now. Grab my hand, will we land? I got the champagne. I took a Sharpie and I sharpened it. Imagine that. And I'm going to mark five eighths. So there, I marked a bunch of little marks. I'm not gonna mark a line all the way around because the leather is too floppy aroundy and I won't be able to get it straight. So I'm just gonna, just gonna, you know, make it happen here. Okay, we're scratched up. Let's get glued up. This part, we gotta be careful. a little one of these and next step I'm gonna start here same side as my seam on this side and I'm gonna hope that everything lines up Got it all stuck, got it all lined up even. So I'm just gonna mark real quick, right here. Okay, glue is dried, and we will stick it nice and tight. Wow, look at how much structure that gives it. All right, so I laid out black bridle that's going to be the backing of the inside of the pocket.
Okay, there's the pocket piece. I'm gonna go over to the Sagita and I'm just gonna skive this front edge down so I can roll it over and stitch it on itself. All right, there you go. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna sew this. Give it some stitches real quick on the machine. Looks good. Okay. Let's attach it to this. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna glue it, I'm gonna tack it down on this side and on this side, like this. I'm gonna stitch it three quarters of the way down and then that'll give me the ability to find out where my next stitch lines for the verticals are going to go. And then I can stitch the bottom all as one. So I did a little bit of messing around with some spacing of some markers to give me a little bit of extra leeway on the spacing of everything. So I'm gonna have two markers here. I marked out where my stitch line, this stitch line needs to go right here. So I'm gonna go sew that right now. All right, I got that line done. record on my camera again but I got the bottom sewn up and yeah there we go pockets <laughs> have it pockets tote bag I tell you what yeah so sewing I'm gonna sew two lines around here
something that would last Baby has a feeling bad cut out and split down to the thickness that I desire. Cut one, cut two. Alright, got this heavy thick skirting leather that's like probably like 10, 12 ounce. Uh, I'm gonna use that as a spacer in between the middle, in between there. 26 by three quarter, two pieces. All right, one, two. Okay, here I just uh, split down some of the excess that came from the one and a half inch strip to super thin. And what I'm going to do, I did this on the handles on the bag right here. But what you do is you use the top grain of the leather as a liner. And that way it wears a lot better as, uh, as the metal. Because this gets wrapped around the D-ring. And throughout the years it wears a lot better and lasts a lot longer if you put this center filler uh, liner in liner strip so just cut it to length there okay let's get gluing Okay, so I'll head over to the Union and I will sew these together. Sew them down here, trim them, squash the ends in, sew them, and we're done. We're getting there. We're almost there.
Getting there. Okay, I'm just finishing up tripling back all the stitches for the handles. You can see that they're one, two, three stitches back. Nice and tight. This is again, slow and steady. With this, I'm gonna take the heavy edger number three. <sighs> Give it the old rub and die here. I take the French edger. Just like so. All right, so handle making. These are the handles and they're almost done. Oh, that rubbing and dying. That's some work, I tell you what. So, while those dry for a minute and just kind of set up from the water, I'm going to take this time and I'm going to give the bag a light coat of vegetable oil. So that way it can, uh, it can soak in. It can soak in while I do the rest of the handle making. So, It'll even out and the oil will soak in and it'll get a beautiful patina all around it from being worn and rubbing against your leg and carrying it around your shoulder and everything. Oh, it's going to wear beautifully. Okay, we'll set this aside. <laughs> shop here at North. I had to call it a night last night. I was working on the rolled handles for the bag here and it was late and I was getting tired so I just had to call it, you know, so you just gotta call it. It's all good. So we take the French edger and we just trim off, trim off the excess that's sticking out. All tip punch. All right, quick sewing montage. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew this and then I'm gonna make a second video separate showing how it is that I do these ends. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time that I upload new videos like tutorials and stuff like this. you gotta watch out for is uh, this thread it will cut into your skin it will you gotta watch out for that and you got little cuts 
your knuckles and it drives you crazy. Stab yourself with the needle. Alright, that's done. I'm gonna go over and burn the threads. See, I went I went in three stitches and then around, wrapped around three times on each side. So using the antler here, the bone, whatever, and this helps smooth out any ridges, any uh, bits that are sticking out, and it shines it up, gets it to a nice smooth finish. Next step, final step, it's been oiled, it's been sewn, everything else is done, except for this edge. Just got to finish this edge. So, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to take the number two leather edger and I'm going to edge all the way around, which is a bit tricky because it's oval. Not square. Can't rest it on the table really. You just gotta do it freehand, just as I'm doing right now. Awesome. I am quite pleased with how this has all come together. If that's not a tote bag, I don't know what is. <laughs> We're done. Thank you for joining me here today in the workshop here at North Creations as we built this all leather tote bag. I am quite pleased with how it all came out. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please go down and comment. I love to hear that. I love the camaraderie and the interchange of ideas and everything down in the comments. So please, if you got any value out of this video or this video series, then please leave a like. Uh, hit subscribe if you like. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. and. Yeah, I had a great time building this. I learned a few things. I used some skills that I haven't used in a few years. 
which is fun. We got some hand stitching, some nice fine finesse, fine arts of sewing. We got to use the union lock stitch, make these nice rolled leather handles. But yeah, like I said, super fun time making this bag. A lot of work, a lot of brain work, thinking about how all the layers are gonna fit together, measurements, and oh, is it too long or is it too short? But no, we did it. So again, I thank you, my viewers, so much for tuning in, showing your support. Awesome. But yeah, till next time, keep your stick on, guys.